How to Create API Documentation with Documents 360 Hi guys, this is Speak About Digital and welcome to this video tutorial on how to create API documentation in Document 360. API documentation is kind of like the user manual for your API. It gives developers and other users all the information they need to successfully work with the API. It can take a variety of forms such as how-to documents, tutorials, and reference guides. It also contains a variety of information types, including how-to guides, functionality, and examples of how to use the API. API documentation is usually made available to the public to allow proper access to anyone who needs it. This helps not only the developers who are already working with your API, but also the developers who are checking whether your API is suitable for their purpose or not. Whether you're a developer or a technical writer, this tutorial will guide you through the process of using Document 360 to create comprehensive and user-friendly API documentation. So, to create API documentation in Document 360, you can follow these steps. First, navigate to the left sidebar of the Document 360 interface and locate the API Documentation selection. Click on it and you will be directed to the API Documentation page. On the API Documentation page, you will find the New API button located at the bottom left side of the screen, as well as at the center of the page. You can click on either of these buttons to initiate the process of creating new API documentation. After clicking on New API, you will be presented with three options for creating new API documentation. These options are known as the Sources of API Documentation. The three sources are URL, Upload, Open API Definition, and CI slash CD Flow. Each source offers a different approach to creating API documentation, and we will explore each of them. To create API documentation with a URL in Document 360, start by selecting the URL option from the three available sources and click on Next. This will prompt a URL box where you can enter the URL which is publicly available to create your new API documentation. It's important to note that Document 360 supports both OpenAPI 2.0 and OpenAPI 3.0 specifications. Copy and paste the relevant URL into the provided box and then click on Add API References. This action will trigger Document 360 to import the API references from the specified URL. During this process, you may encounter errors or alerts because Document 360 will validate your API reference and report any errors or warnings in it. They will appear below the URL input. However, for now, proceed by clicking on Add API References. After successfully adding the API references, you can proceed to click on the Publish button to publish your API documentation. This action will make your API documentation available for access and reference by others. Once you have published your API documentation, it will be available for your users on the user website in a few minutes. You can easily locate the API documentation in the API documentation panel under the Categories and Articles section. From there, you can organize and manage your API documentation alongside other related categories and articles for seamless navigation and access. Additional content or documentation can be included by clicking Edit and the Add button. The editor contains formatting tools for your text. It's also possible to look at the code view and add links to the description. You can add additional content at different places in the same article. Updating a specific API reference is also quite simple. For example, let's assume some changes were made to this specific entry and it needs to be updated. Hover your cursor over the API reference and you will notice the three dots menu appearing next to it. Click on it and a menu will appear, presenting you with various options. Click Resync and any changes will be synchronized. It's very important to keep your API documentation up to date because any recent changes may cause your API documentation to be outdated. Use the Resync or Update options to keep your API documentation up to date. You can also remove an API reference, if you want to, by clicking Delete. Now that we have already created API documentation using the URL source, let's explore the process of creating API documentation by uploading a file. It's important to note that when uploading a file, Document 360 only accepts files in JSON or YAML format. To begin, click on the Plus New API button, located at the bottom left side of the screen. This will open up the options for different sources. 
Since we have already used the URL source, this time we will select the second source, which is Upload Open API Definition. After selecting this option, click on Next to proceed. Now you can either drag and drop the JSON or YANL file directly into the designated area or click to upload the file from your computer. Once the file is uploaded, click on Add API References. Document 360 will then process and import the API references from the uploaded file. It's worth noting that during this process, you may encounter errors or alerts, which will be displayed for your review. Despite any potential errors or alerts, you can proceed with publishing your API documentation by clicking on the Publish button. Publishing will make your API documentation available for users on the designated website or platform. After publishing, you will find your API documentation populated under the Categories and Articles section. As you can see, we find both the API references here. The API documentation will be organized into different topics and respective subtopics will be listed under their respective main topics. This hierarchical structure allows users to easily navigate and access the different sections of your API documentation. The final source to create API documentation is CI slash CD flow. To create API documentation using CI CD flow and document 360, you can use the D360 NPM package. This package makes it easy to upload and synchronize your API documentation with document 360. It simplifies the integration of your documentation into your development workflow. Document 360 also offers a command line tool called D360. This tool helps you automate the synchronization of your API documentation with Document 360. By using the D360 command line tool, you can easily include your API documentation in your CI CD pipeline. This ensures that your documentation stays updated and aligned with your code changes. Remember to generate an API key specifically for your project when using the CI CD flow in Document 360. This API key is unique to your project and provides secure access to your API documentation. It's important to note that the generated API key is only valid for the project you're working on. Make sure to safeguard and manage it properly. By leveraging the D360 NPM package, the D360 command line tool, and a project-specific API key, you can seamlessly create and integrate API documentation into your CI CD workflow in Document 360. This simplifies the process of keeping your documentation up to date and accessible. The user website will look and function very similar to a standard knowledge-based site and can be accessed by clicking on the API documentation link on the header. Like the documentation site, users can navigate through the API documentation and view detailed information on endpoints like security, path and query parameters, and responses. And there you have it, a beginner's guide to creating API documentation and Document 360. Offering an API is a wonderful way to extend the functionality of your project and reach large pools of new users. Document 360 API Docs lets you integrate your documentation with your software, allowing you to easily onboard new users, improve productivity and collaboration, manage your articles, and decreases the amount of time spent on understanding how the API works and discovering unexpected errors when using it. There are more things to learn about Document 360, so if you're interested in an advanced tutorial, let me know in the comments and I'll be happy to make it happen whenever I get a chance. Again, if you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up and if you have any questions at all, please comment below. I try to answer all the comments the best I can. Thanks for watching and take care.